Welcome back. In this video, we'll be learning about the custom list in Excel. Now, what exactly is a custom list? It's a very important topic which can save a lot of time for everyone in the company or in a college, for example. Now, if I have some cell over here, if you see, if I write here Monday and if I press enter, when I type Monday, if I press enter, I can write Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I can write many things over here. But the thing is, I will waste time, okay? In order to save time, what I can do here is, I can keep my cursor on this small doctor symbol. Carefully observe, this is a big doctor symbol. This is a small doctor symbol. It's easy to remember. But however, technical languages, this is a selection sign and this is a drag and fill option. I call it a big doctor and a small doctor symbol. So when it is a small doctor symbol, which is drag and fill option, I can click left click and I can drag down. When I drag down, I get list of name of all the days. Let's try one more. If I type M-O-N and if I press enter, M-O-N, again a short form for Monday, keep my cursor here, big doctor symbol, small doctor symbol, which is fill, drag and fill. I can drag and fill till I get Sunday. Similarly, if I type January and if I come back using my cursor or somewhere and small doctor symbol, drag and fill. So this way I can create a list. Why this list is required, everyone? Number one, to save time. I don't have to spend time in front of you typing January, February, March, April, May and so on. No need to require. Excel remembers all this data and you just need to ask. It will drag down and give you all the answers. However, these are by default list. Monday to Sunday, January to December, list by Microsoft Excel. Someone in Microsoft Excel defined the list for us. However, if you're working professional or if you're a student or, or a teacher, what you can do here is you can create a custom list for yourself. Let me uh, again select, press delete key. What is a custom list for yourself? I can type here country named as India. Okay. And I can press enter. So India is my country. Now, if I want list of name of all the countries, one method is I can go to Google. I can go to ChatGPT search about it. But I have taught my Excel to remember all the names of the countries. So when I press my small doctor symbol, which is drag and fill or handle button here, I can get list of name of all the countries. I can keep on dragging down. There are so many countries here. Or if I type here city, Pune, I, I stay in Pune. So I can keep my small doctor symbol. I get list of name of all the cities in India. If I type my name, enter. And if I just small doctor symbol, drag down. I get list of name of all my colleagues and friends working with me or in, in touch with me. So this is some custom list. Now, suppose you are a teacher, okay, and if you have 100 students in your class and you have to copy paste the data always, you can teach Excel to remember all these names. So how do we create a custom list? Now, these three options which you have seen, this is a list defined by me for my Excel. The earlier list which you saw, Monday to Sunday, January to December, this is given by Microsoft. So let's see how to create a custom list in Excel. Let me delete this data. Now, the scenario is there are uh, let's say 10 students in a college or in a school and you want that Excel to remember just 10 names. So the steps would be, by the way, this is the latest version of Microsoft Excel, which is Office 365. So the options or the steps might be different. If you're using older version of Excel 2007 or some other version, the options or the steps might be different. Let's do it. Click on file menu bar and then click on the options at the bottom. Then if you see on the left hand side, advanced option. And we have to scroll at the bottom till the bottom at the end. And here comes the edit custom list. When we click on the edit custom list, one dialog box appears over here. Now, let me zoom the screen for you. This uh, options, if you observe on your laptop, you might have only four lists. Monday to Sunday, January to uh, December, MON to SUN. So these are four lists which you might have. I have defined multiple lists for myself. Now, if I want to create a new list for myself, I'm a school teacher and I want some name of people or if I'm a project manager, I want name of the people. So I can select new list, click over here. So it can be customer name, it can be employee names, it can be uh, city names, anything. I can click over here and I can you know type here 10 names, 20, 100 names, whatever. So I, let's say there are 10 students. One is Vihan, one is Kiara, one is Payal, one is Sahil, one is Anmol, one is... Ajay, one is Vijay, one is Preem, 
and Jitendra. And let's say we have John. Uh, some foreign names, John, Mike, Peter. Okay. And we have, uh, let's say, Elon. So these are some names which I've defined. Okay. Now, you just need to remember any one name. Now, when you have this names like this, you can keep on typing n number of names. So when you click on the add button, what happens is this list which you have typed will be added on the left hand side and it is stored in the memory of Microsoft Excel. That's it. Now, when I click on OK and if I click on OK button, now this names are remembered. Now, if you remember any name of the student in your class, let's say I remember uh, Elon. OK, Elon, I remember. And I press enter, come back, the small doctor symbol or the drag and fill handle option, I can drag and fill at the bottom. Now, these are list of name of all the students in my class. Okay. And when I scroll down, carefully observe, the first name I've written Elon because there were 10 students. So after I do that, you see, or 12 students, again, when I see there's an Elon name here. So it will keep on repeating the list. So remember, you need to remember the count of people in that data here. Okay. The, that is one list. But imagine if you are a principal of a school and there are 5000 students working or studying in your school, you cannot keep on typing 5000 names. It's difficult. So what we can do here is I have a data right now. For example, these are name of the YouTube channels. People know about the YouTube channels here. These are name of YouTube channels and I don't have time to type, but I want this data to be stored into Excel. What is the method? Please observe. So it can be thousands of data or n number of data here. I can go to file menu bar, I can click on options and advance, file menu bar, options, advance, scroll at the bottom and here comes the edit custom list. What is this custom list? Create list for use in sort and fill sequence. We are using a fill sequence. I can click on edit custom list. Here comes the options. One is you type, if this list is small, you type it. So import the list from the cells. How do I import? I can click on this button. I can select this data like this, okay. Using my mouse, I can select the data. Let's say these are 20 names. Now what I'm saving time, I'm saving the errors which I might make mistake because spelling mistakes I might make. I'm not that perfect. So I can click on this button. So it has selected the data from this range. Now I can just click on import. And when I click on import, data is loaded here, data is loaded here. Now I can just click on okay. So click on okay. Now. I remember the short name YRF, Yashraj Flims. So when I move on the left hand side, I will type as YRF, a short name which I remember. But now when I drag and fill the option, you see these are list of name of all the YouTube channels, which has been remember. Now, as I told you, if I keep on dragging, I will get again YRF. And if I keep on dragging, I will get a duplicate. name. You should know the start. You should know the end where it has to do that. So obviously I can delete this data and I can come back here. So this way I've got list of name of all the places here. But the problem is if you understand, if I go back here in this set India, instead of set India, this was a source data, which Excel remember. Okay. This was source data. So uh, this data is now captured. It is stored over there. Now, when I open a new Excel file, when I press control N, I don't have to teach Excel again and again with a new Excel file. If I open my laptop after 50 days, 100 days, I will still type YRF. Okay, let me zoom the screen. YRF, drag and fill. That means I don't have to teach again and again. So this is stored in the memory of Microsoft Excel. Till you format your laptop, till you format your MS Office, this data will be always there. Okay, if your laptop gets crashed down or some formatting done, it will go away. But however, if your laptop is working or if your desktop is working normal, this will be always there. Now, these are the list known as custom list. Benefits is do not have to remember. Benefits is do not have to copy paste. Excel remembers all your data. So that's it. And I hope you have understood how do we create a custom list in Microsoft Excel. And that's all for this video.